Now, Cricket West Indies Senior Men's Selection Panel announced their squad for the first match of the Cycle Pure Agarbati Test Series, powered by Yes Bank against India. The panel named 13 squad members and two travelling reserve players for the match, which will be played at Windsor Park in Dominica from the 12th to the 16th of July. There is a first-time call-up for left-handed batter Kirk McKenzie, while fellow left-handed batter Alec Athenes is the other uncapped player in the squad. There are recalls for all-rounder Rakim Cornwall, who played his last test in November 2021, and left-arm spinner Jamal Warakan, who was in the squad which toured Zimbabwe but missed the last tour of South Africa in February. Left-arm spinner Gurukesh Muti is unavailable for selection as he is undergoing rehabilitation from his injury. Meanwhile, contrasting top performances continued for the West Indies women as they celebrated another victory over Ireland women in the second T20 international at Grusillet. Ireland were first at the crease and could only post 113 for seven. Dismissals via the runout route claimed four of the Irish wickets, with Sherry Ann Fraser, the best bowler, taking one wicket for 16 runs. Skipper Haley Matthews then continued her consistent performances, this time striking a quick 50 from 39 balls. The Windies women charging to 114 for the loss of two wickets in 16.4 overs, winning positively by eight wickets and also lead the three-match T20 series 2-0. At the close, Skipper Matthews touched on her team achieving their goals. Yeah, I think we're pretty happy um, coming into this series, um, to this tour. In fact, we wanted to be able to take a home bowl series. So just very happy that we were able to go out there and, and win convincingly today and secure the T20 series. Well done to the Windies ladies.